Okay, new project time. I want to make a Mortal Kombat arcade machine using a switch and for that I need to make a wireless switch controller. That's important, wireless. So Mortal Kombat is quite a big thing in my house at the moment and we play it on a switch and those little dinky controllers are hopeless and if you're old school like me you would know of a machine like this. It's just got buttons and joysticks and things to make things a lot easier to play. So I want to make one of these but I don't want to hook it up with wires. Uh, I want to be able to have wireless so it will just act like a regular controller but built like the old arcade style. And you'd think it would be pretty easy to find on the internet a library or something to do that and there really isn't. Most of the things you can find are wired so the one there's one for the Pipeco called GP2040CE and it seems to work on most um, devices, Playstations, Switch, Xbox, perhaps, what have you. But you've got to connect it with a cable and I don't want to use the cable and it runs on a Pipeco and I've used it in a couple of projects because they're pretty cheap and Pipeco does come in a wireless version. I've gone through the GitHub for this project and there, there's talk about it but there's no, doesn't seem to be in implementation for some reason so I can't, can't really use it unless I want to use the cable and I definitely don't. So buried deep down on the internet is something called a handheld legend. So this handheld legend is a controller, it looks really cool, it does everything, it's sort of based off the old a Nintendo controller, it looks the same and it runs off an ESP32 and it just you can control it wirelessly. You, you can use it on not only on Nintendo but you can use it on um, your computer as well and swap between different devices, GameCube, SNES and I thought I, I could use that and they've even got a software installer so you just plug your ESP32 into your computer on this web page and you go install and it installs the firmware to run a controller and that's what I did and I hooked it all up it was a bit of a nightmare because it uses a diode sort of keyboard so I get all these diodes and it was just a real nightmare to try and breadboard out and I did get it up and running and the buttons did work but when I was looking at the terminal for it running it was trying to make a connection to an IT, I, I2C uh, controller or there's another controller on their, their kit because they sell this kit we plugged the ESP32 into it and you put it all together and it's, it's marvellous right and I didn't have that and I'm not really interested in that because it's part of the charging module or something and the, it just kept on crashing so I would boot up try and send data down to this um, extra controller fail that crash and reboot so I couldn't use it sort of at all so there is a github for it for the software and it's called Open Controller ESP32 it makes no mention of Nintendo or any controller that's why it was so hard to find but we can't use this particular software but if I go back to the main area of the projects it's got one here called Hodger and again very limited docs like it's a secret ESP IDF Hodger library handheld legend open joypad API and with this I can program my controller to work with um, my, my Nintendo Switch without worrying about any of the I2C communications. In here it's got a, an example, a basic wide gamepad example and you just compile this get a sort of really basic functional version of the software running on the ESP32. And to be honest with you I've got absolutely no idea how to do that at all. I've got no, I mean Arduino and stuff I'm fine with or a bit of Python but this is sort of next level I don't understand but I went back to the beginning of the um, to the root of the project and it says here ISP IDF so I googled that and I found some software it's a um, sort of a development software for ESP devices I downloaded it I installed it and then I went to a command line and it said uh, type this into compile and I typed it into compile and then it said type this into flash your device and I typed that into flash my device and it just worked. And normally I'd go through the whole process for you guys so you could do it yourself but I simply have no idea how I did it. I just I was sitting there just fumbling away and it just all just started work. I couldn't really believe my luck. So I flashed it and I uh, before I committed to anything any further I um, put it, breadboarded out all the switches because there's quite a few switches. I think there's 12 all together. Hooked it up and that seemed to work. So then we went a little step further and um, used the prototype board prototyped it out so this is the d-pad the up and down the triggers the home and select and I tried on the switch and it works perfectly so I've got a wireless controller I just need the battery for it obviously 
and it works it seems to work perfectly well for my Nintendo Switch here I can make all the moves I want to one of the switches here doesn't go down properly but I've got these switches from China for like two dollars for like a thousand so I imagine the switches aren't particularly good so I sorted up some proper arcade buttons maybe you would have seen my other project before where I created a Defender cocktail table version of the game pretty much the same sort of thing so for sure check out this these libraries I've put them in the show notes so you can go to them uh, even if you go to their handheld legend and buy their hardware because it looks pretty cool it's just all you've got to do is put an SPC2 on it you've got a controller for any of the games so I think it does PlayStation I think it just does the Nintendos and the Windows so once all the buttons and joystick turn up I'm going to build this cabinet I'm not going to build the whole cabinet I'm just going to build this part of it and then what I'm going to do is make it so these inner bits can clip out and clip back in again so you're not sort of bound to the whole unit sitting on your lap you can break one off and just use it individually so stick around for that 